everybody, welcome back. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, I know you guys have been anticipating this moment, but it's another episode of Cooking with Christina. Woohoo! <laughs> so today, you know what we're making? Mel. What? You see, well, here's the problem. She says finicia, I say melamocardena. <laughs> anyway, so they're two, they're the same thing, but they're called different things depending on what part of Greece you're from. So we're going to call them finicia because that's what they call them from our area that we come from. So we're going to get started. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. What do you think the first thing we're going to have to do? I'll give you a hint. Wet, wet or dry? Uh, dry. So with this recipe, you have to start with the syrup because the syrup has to be all cooled and ready to go before you even start. So in this saucepan, I am going to get two cups of sugar. Can you say sugar? I can say sugar. You can say sugar. Can you stop saying sugar? <laughs> she said it! <laughs> So, we got, oh, all right, Cigarra. we got Cigarra. Cigarra. Sounds like a movie. Okay, so one, one, oh, is that beautiful? Not really. <laughs> Two, oh my gosh, this sugar is kind of crunchy at the bottom. My dog wants to be in this. <clears throat> two, he can't. Three. He, he Did I say two or three? Um, two. 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 And we're going to put the sugar over, <clears throat> who knew the sugar was so, uh, yeah. I'm dab. Two cups of water. I'm gonna go over here. I, I'm I'm going to pour the water because okay. all you did is making it. There you go. Okay. I'm not ready for this. Ta-da! I, I, I just okay. poured a cup of water that wasn't really hard, but okay. Okay. Ta-da! Just gonna plop it right in there. It looks, it looks like it's exploding dirt. It does. Okay. Then we're going to take this, put a couple lemon peels in there, and pop it on the stove for okay? about 30 minutes until it's bubbly. Then we're going to simmer it. No, no, that's an orange. <laughs> Actually, it's a one cutie. <laughs> All right. So let's put this over to the side. And it is going to bubble, 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 bubble. Now we're going to start with the wet ingredients. So here's a bowl. Did you see that? That was pretty fancy. I don't really. Okay. Okay. So in this bowl, we're going to put in a cup of oil. So we're going to put. Usually, you're supposed to put corn oil in this type of recipe, but we we want to make it a little bit heart healthy, and so we're going to put in uh, canola oil, which is good oil. It's like olive oil, except um, way cheaper. I'm putting it in there. And lighter. Okay, okay. you're my pourer. Okay. okay. Let me open this. Here we go. I get that same class. Finally, I'm doing something. This isn't all of them. You're, you're going to do all of You're a pourer, all right? So finally. Here you go. This is like the new. Whoa. And the better cooking stand. Um, it's like. Yeah. Do you, know, you know what today is? It's Christmas Eve. Yeah, it's Christmas Eve. And we're going to go to um, my brother's house mm -hmm. and sister-in-law and, and nephews. And we're going to spend uh, Christmas uh, Eve over there. And this is their favorite, their favorite cookie. I love this cookie when I was little. I've it, never tasted it. You have to. Um, you know I've what? I like them because they're all moist. You know that syrup we just made? Once we make the cookies and we cook them, we're going to put that syrup over and they're going to suck in. This the syrup, see, so I they're see, nice and moist and, and yummy. I see brownies. Okay, that's the other thing. Okay, so now we got the oil in here. We're gonna add in a half a cup of orny juice. Do you really have to shake yeah. it? Yeah. See all the stuff at the bottom? It's gotta go over here so you get that full uh, orange juice thing. It's so, not really. Um, I can't. I can't. I can't get. Can give you it help to me? the girl. Okay, thanks. Oh, thanks. Okay. All right. Thank you. I don't know what was going on. Wow. There we go. So okay. Should I pour? You should you. I get it. Okay. I'll re screw this up. Why do we keep using the same exact measuring cup? Well, you know, because we only have okay, one. Okay. Don't even answer that. Okay. We only have one measuring cup. Okay. All right. 
Now, now I need to wash your hands. What did you eat? You were so complaining all the time. Hey. Um, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Cinnamon. Oh. Okay. Wow. So here's the thing. I'm gonna pop this open. I'm gonna do the cinnamon. Okay. I'm gonna show you the half. Can you see the half? Ooh. Yeah. It, it keeps sliding. So I'm gonna put my thumb here. Go like this. There you go. How many? That's it. Just one. Cinnamon, pretty powerful stuff. You know what I'm saying? Not really. Yeah, it is. Only a little bit is enough. Okay, so we got the cinnamon in here. Like we it. have, um, this is so hard. I'm going to do this. It's called the cinnamon. This is what we call a paddler. We use this to paddle. Uh, no, no, no. This is a grater. It's crazy. a grater. Like, I'm so greater <laughs> than you. <laughs> and I have a friend named Graydon. Oh, that's perfect. Does he look like this? <laughs> God, so, no. I don't have any oranges, but you should, you should grate two large oranges. But what we have is cuties because, <laughs> thanks. So we're gonna try to grate three cuties. Can you try to get a sticker off of there? So here I go. I think I can handle that, Dad. Give me a harder job. I'm gonna grate, grate, grate. And I guess I could have used this um, juice in Did the you cuties. the skin? The skin. That's what the grate, you're using the skin. Because it brings in a lot of flavor. Very citrusy. This is disgusting. No, it's delicious. <laughs> Viewers, it's delicious. Don't let she doesn't know. She's a baby. <laughs> I will follow home with you if you keep making me. No, no, I will. Out. Okay, okay, sorry. Alright, so I'm grading. It takes a while. Why don't you tell me a story when I'm grading? Tell me, tell me something about grading. Um, he ate his own book. No. <laughs> Well, okay. What are you even trying to say? I don't know. You go ahead. Tell me a story. Uh, what do you want uh, for Christmas this year? I want to eat glue. <laughs> Good luck with that. No bad instruments in this house. I'm going to punch you. <laughs> That's not appropriate. Remember the tuba? She wanted a tuba. Oh, it's nearly. called a cello. I don't think he gets it with instruments. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Then she had a banjo. She played this banjo for a long time. That no, that was a violin. Oh, okay, I'm not a harmonica. Oh, that's that a thing. recorder. Did you ever play the drums? Uh, yeah, when I was little. Okay, see, I got the drums right. It was it was a toy, but then I stabbed it mm. and broke it. And broke it, and then mysterious and disappeared. I was, <laughs> yeah, because you threw it in the garbage. But right? accident. Yeah, right. I thought it was a... Hey, I'm gonna do it. You can't do it. Yes. Let me do it. No, okay, you, do okay it. you do it. Here. Perfect. Go ahead, do it. I don't use my... And finish telling the story. Um, what, what story was I saying again? Uh -oh. oh, excuse me. I'm gonna grab this. I'm terrible at this. It's a paddle. I don't think it's... See, I have it. It's not going though. It. It's all on the wrist. It's all on the wrist. There you go. And then turn the oranges. So, why don't you give me this thing? All right. Hold on one second. Why do you use your left hand to hold it? I'm a right hander. I'm a righty loosey. Lefty lousy. That's it's, not how you. No any jokes? You know, it's a holiday, so I'm going to tell you a funny joke. I shared this with my um, my friends. They thought it was really funny. What do you call a broke Santa? I don't know. Ready? Saint Nicholas. <laughs> Get it? He's Nicholas. Nickel, like the money. What do you call a rude reindeer? Rudolph. Then have it. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you call? That's all I got. I got no more. Here we go. I have unrelated ones though. Every two videos, we're going to make it better. Like all right. We did other two videos, so I hope you just smash that subscribe. All right, so we got all the zest from the cuties in here, or oranges. I'm going to put this over here. We need to add a half a cup of sugar. Sugar. So I said sugar. Are you French? How do you say sugar in Greek? Sugar. No. Za. Zachary. Zachary. It's not Zachary. Zacharo. Oh, that's Brusco whining, crying. 
But no, not right now. Not right now. We're in the middle of a scene. He's not making this much fun. No, he's not. Actually, uh, half a cup of. Oh, I have to tell you about this. This is the magic stuff that you must have for this cookie. It's yeah. called. Don't it. Show it to them. No, it's in. It's the secret weapon. It's Shimedhali. <laughs> It's called Shimit Khali. Just saying and that makes me more sad. It's the Chondro Shimit Khali. And I'll tell you what it is in, in English. Ready? It's um, farina. You could use farina as a substitute or cream of wheat. But this is special. And actually, I think you could have used psilo, which is a thin. But I looked and we don't have any psilo, so I'm using Chondro. But it should be okay. So I'm going to put a half a cup of this in here. And I'll tell you what this does. This is the thing that helps soak up all the moisture oh, of that syrup. Back. So I'm pour this right. Where are you going? I'll be right back. Can you let the dog out? Sure. Thanks. Go. So I'm gonna put this over to the side. Really good stuff. Hurry up back. Hurry back. Come here. Um, two teaspoons of baking Please. powder. Oh, I didn't pull out the bake. Hold on. Baking powder, baking powder, baking powder. I, I found it. Two teaspoons baking powder. One. And two. Who's going to help me count over here? I'll be right back. Ugh. She's killing me, folks. She's killing me. And half a teaspoon baking soda. Who even says folks? She got a point. I'm a child of the 80s, right? 90s? 70s? 70s. Baking soda? 50s? And... <laughs> it's so funny, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Half a teaspoon of salt. Huh. Mm -hmm. Half a teaspoon of ground clove. The ground clove, you gotta be careful. This oh. stuff will... It's too... It's pretty potent. And we're almost out of it, so I'm gonna go here. Oh. Actually, that's pretty perfect. Yes, pretty perfect. That's all done with. Um, you know, sometimes we'll get the whole clothes and put them in like a coffee grounder and pour them in here. Because this is kind of expensive. It's like five bucks for this little thing. Where you could get it from, make it for yourself or grind it yourself or way, 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 way cheaper. Now, this is the part that's a little crazy. You're going to take this wet stuff. Mm -hmm. And the, the secret here is, for it to be a pliable dough, is two cups white flour, one cup wheat flour. You get that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because, I don't know what it is, but the wheat, I think it's because it's looser, where this turns into a rubber. And the other um, white, I'm sorry, the wheat, is not like that. And so, um, it works, I'm telling you, it's a secret. Or sometimes if it, you use all white, they'll crack, or they won't work. So here's two cups of white. And let me put this over to the side. And let's get this wheat. Ah. What are you doing, baby? I'm doing this. Okay. Do you like some salt? No, thank you. So here is half and another half to make a whole cup of the wheat. Put this over to the side. Yep. Whoa! Great, you just made a big mess when you dropped it. Did I? Well, fine. Okay, here we go. You want to stir it? Sure. Okay. I like to stir it. I'll move this stuff out of the way while you're stirring. Okay. Mmm, I think it looks, let me, let me help, I get the script. You're doing a great job, great job, great job. I love it. I love it. It is what I love. I'm the real cooker here. She's the cooker. There's no, no question about it. If, uh, she's a cookie and she's a cooker. She makes cookies as cooker. Um, he's just the... We should uh, call it the Cookie Christina Show. <laughs> this is this one. 
Here, okay, let me see this now. I gotta, I gotta need it. It's, it's fun. Okay, I know it's fun. You hear ding, ding? What do you think the ding, dings mean? A washer and dryer. Oh, a washer and dryer talk, by the way. This is very perfect. Yeah. Let me show the camera. It was like... Washed hands? It was like so wet, and now it's like dough. See that? How perfect. the... Heck. Did, no, don't say heck. How the muchachas did that happen? Say more Greek words. Appropriate Greek words. Yeah, no, no. How do you say, what do you say, dough? How do you say dough? Think so. Xero, Xeris. Uh, it's it's Jimmy. Like, that's I also an, how you say Jim. Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. And that's what they call my brother because his name is Dimitri and I think it's funny so they call him Jimmy. 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 Okay, here we go. All you have to do oh, is. Oh, I'm gonna pop the dough out. All you have to do is say the word with a Greek accent after. Yeah. Like <laughs> banana. French is like that too. Kind of. I want to knead it. Okay. Oh, you're spanking it. That's not neat. You're spanking it. Spank the doll a bunch of times. I don't know what kneading is, but I'm just gonna. Oh, excuse me. Okay. See this dirty, gross pan? Yeah. It's my favorite. Ew. It is. Ew. I love it. Ugh. Here's what they go. It's what I they call seasoned. I broke your ball. You did. Okay. All right. Let go. Aww. Now we gotta get serious. And it's I, have, I have a fuzz on my <gasps> finger. <laughs> she doesn't. It's okay. It came from a sweater. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now this is the part that's tricky. You're gonna have to stop. You're gonna have to take one of these and finikia are like a finger. Finikia. Fini. You take a little piece, piece of the dough. I'm gonna go wash. I left the camera. I'm back in the camera. Or a little bit more oil. It needs, it should be a little bit more pliable than it is. It looks so, ew. Put your hand down. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, it was too dry. And you know what? It's okay. It's a forgiving um, recipe. Just give me a minute here. Let me get this re-smushed. I like it. It's technical terms. We call it re-smushing. No, we, we do don't. it all the time. We never say that. I, I do. Mm -hmm. He does. We don't. Yeah. So listen, um, this is like what, our third video and Food Network has not called yet, neither has Disney, so it's, we're both, uh, I guess, uh, not so good. <laughs> no, I know. We need more viewers. <laughs> we do, so. And we need more subscribers. Subscribers. Is that how you work it? Because I don't know. I don't know. She does everything. She does editing and... <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Okay. He's, he's just the, um... I'm the, I'm the good looks. I'm the, I'm the eye candy. <laughs> I'm okay. eating candy. Oh, okay. So here we go. See that? It looks like that. But here's the tricky part. Oh, I remember. You have to take this, this long piece, put your finger here, oh, and no. push it down. Don't shake. Rub it, and flip it over. Now it has these marks, and look at the back. It's divoted in, and then you put that in. How does that work? Eh, it's an old thing. Takes forever, but we have um, we have all day. Why didn't we do anything with the honey? Oh, the honey! The honey, two big whopping spoonfuls go in the syrup at the very end to give it that honey flavor. Why the end? Well, it's so good. Yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? There we go. So, see that? I don't know if you saw that awesome technique that awesome technique smash the subscribe button hey hey ready. hey they're, they're ready to smash the delete button what <laughs> nothing i don't get your humor you don't 
Oh, I've been working on it. Okay. Well, I guess I could bore you to death and do all 25 of these, but I could stop it and then turn it on when we're about done. I think we're going to go with that option. What do you think? What? Let's do it. No! Don't go. Don't leave us. Don't leave us. Okay, so we just got these popped out of the oven. And so what I'm doing is I'm taking yeah, yeah it's on. Turned. I know it, come on over here. So what I'm doing is I'm baking them, putting them in here, covering them corner to corner to corner so every little piece is in here. Okay. Take a look over here. That's fine over there. See? And then I have the opportunity of taking any icky ones and switching them out with prettier ones. Like maybe like this one over here, it seems like there's some cracking that happened. I could switch it off with say this one over here, that's not so bad. There we go. I think we're good. Mm -hmm. We think we're good? Mm -hmm. Terrific. Okay, so now here comes the very next part of what we're doing. Okay, and that is the syrup. This is a little cheating. I'm going to tell you how to do it. The very last few minutes you're going to take remember this is two cups of sugar and two cups of water with a little lemon peel. You're going to take two heaping teaspoons of the honey. There's one. Here's two, and that's it. And you have that honey taste without it being super crazy sticky and a big ick. Yeah. So I'm just gonna let this uh, stir in here for a minute or two. Daddy. Yes sir, ma'am? I know, that's fine. They're not all gonna be perfect. So, got a little ladle. Looks good, and this is what we do. You take some of the syrup and ladle it right on top of the cookies. That looks so good and moist. Doesn't it? Mmm, did you hear that? Good and moist. I know. There we go. Can you see and, Yeah, the syrup. And then, you know what's gonna happen is, because we have the simebrae or the farina in the, in the dough, it's gonna start soaking it up. Okay, evenly, evenly, evenly. That was not evenly. There we go. And it doesn't really matter because it takes some time for it to soak up. So don't panic if you see it not soaking up. Okay. Oh, I could smell it. it smells just like I remember. Excellent. The cinnamon in there and the cloves. And now I got a little trick. Got a little trick for everybody. Mm -hmm. Want to hear the trick? Sure. It's a secret. Okay. I'm going to put this whole tray back in the oven and I'm going to let it kind of sizzle and suck it up in f five minutes. I want to eat one. Not yet. And in five minutes, it should be all dry and ready. Okay? So I'm opening the oven. I'm setting the cooks back in there. This tin is um, flimsy. I asked Santa for new pans. But I didn't see anything rectangular under the tree, so I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> okay, so in about five minutes, uh, we'll come visit these again, and we'll probably be ready to taste test. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. And here they are. And they have all soaked up all the um, syrup on there, and now we're ready to place them on our platter. Okay, so we're going to go carefully. Fancy words. Fancy words, one. We're going to try to make them into a big circle. Right? you got to be careful because look at the bottom. It's all honey and yummy. Wait, wait, wait. You know what? i got a good idea. Let's use yeah. this. Okay, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. There we go. And then you can help me. Here you go. Here's another one. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Oh, these are so yummy. And they have weight to them. 
because of all the syrup that they soaked up. Right here? Yes. Here we go. There we go. And let's see, find a nice little round one. And we'll put that right in the middle. Is that a good one? Here. Kind of. Let's put this little baby one in there. This is a little one. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Look, we're doing like a little flower. Okay. Keep going all the way around. How do you? Like this now? Oh, yeah. That's a nice flower. Mm -hmm. I always make flowers like that. Yeah. And you could do this for one layer or two layers. Now, there's one more thing you should know. After it's all done, you sprinkle um, any type of um, nut on the... Here, this one broke, which is perfect, because I'm going to show you up close. People can eat it's it. It's nice and juicy. It's hard on the outside, and the inside is all juicy. And then, oh, oh shoot. Look at that. I so want yeah. to eat it mm. now. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. Oh. Is it good? It's real good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I can taste the orange juice. Mm-hmm. The orange juice and... Eh. No. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got it. We can use our fingers. We wash our hands. Now I think we're going to close to going... Actually, we should have probably plated these a little sooner. They're getting a little hard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Let's go sideways now. There we go. Now can you... Now we're gonna put on the top. Oh. Yes. But there's you know what? This is plenty. We'll leave the rest for us. Let's just leave that. We'll make this plate nice and pretty. <clears throat> and this will be what we take to company for company. And we keep the rest for ourselves and eat them. Mm. What do you think of that idea? Actually, I keep plating it. I think we're running out of room. Now the true test is Yaya. Let's see if she likes it. Let me get a little. Well, she's Greek, so. Oh, she's very Greek. Go get this Yaya, see if she likes it. Okay. Okay. Let's see what she says. She's the boss. Oh, yeah. You hear that? Oh my gosh. She said, oh my gosh, she's so... Kaloi. She says really good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh. I think she gave us five stars. Oh, five stars. So there you have it. Finikia or Melamacardona. And it's delicious. It's easy. I'm going to put some nuts and put them on top. Put a little foil on them. And they're ready to go. High five. You did a great job, right?